Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Unitech magnetic wireless card charger with cooling. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if we look on the side here, it says powerful magnet, electronic refrigeration, smart cooling fan, 15 watt, 10 watt fast charging, colorful light, and auto sleep. So let's get this open. So it has a card here to download the manual. We have a vent mount, has a car charger, and a USB-A to USB-C cable. Cable's about 40 inches. Take a quick look at the charger. So the charger has 20 watts power delivery. So there's a USB-C and a USB-A port. And here's the charger itself. So this has a unique feature in that it has cooling in it. So I'm guessing this uses a Peltier Junction. So it's a special chip. So one side gets cool and the other is hot. So the hot side would be on the fan side. So that would cool the surface here and then blow the heat out the back. Now that would seem better in the summertime, but actually oftentimes on my vent, my vents are blowing cold. I actually find the winter time is when I really need the cooling because I have the heat coming from the vent and it sometimes overheats my phone. But it's really going to cool either time of the year. So here's the vent mount. So it has rubber here and this hook, it hooks onto a vent. And then it has a ball and socket configuration. And I am going to take this out to my car and demonstrate it there, but I do want to show it on my bench here where I have a little bit better light. So to install the ball and socket, we want to loosen this. Sometimes you have to take these all the way off, sometimes not. So I'll just push them together and then I can tighten this up. So that'll mount on the vent and then I can angle this at whatever angle I want. So there's a piece of plastic here over the charge face. So that feels very smooth there. I don't know if that's glass or plastic, but it feels very significant, it feels sturdy. So let's get this plugged in. On my bench, I'm just going to power it off a power supply that has 12 volts. So I'll plug in the 12 volt charger. I'll plug that into the quick charge here, and that will plug into the charger. So this is going to work with the iPhone 12, 13, 14 with MagSafe. So you do want to have a bare phone or use a MagSafe case. That's my preference. So I have this MagSafe case here, and I'll clip it on. And now we're charging. Now on the back side, we can see that fan is moving. It also has an RGB light there, so it's kind of color changing. Now I don't think you can turn that off, so if that's gonna bother you, this may not be for you. So we're currently drawing 10 watts according to my power bank there. I'm guessing that could vary depending on the state of charge of your phone and how much cooling it has to do. So then to remove this, I'll just peel it off and we're disconnected. So I'm gonna get out my thermal camera. I want to see how the cooling is working on this. Okay, so now I have a second iPhone 13 mini. I'm using my first one with the thermal camera. So I'll connect this up here and we're charging. So let's turn this on its belly. So we can see ambient temperature here is around 70 degrees. Let's look at the back of the phone. It's a little warmer. Now, if we look in the middle of this charger, it's at about 94 degrees. And this has only been running for a few seconds. So let me pull this off. And then let's look at the charger in the phone. So you can see in the phone, there's a little cool spot in the middle. It's at about 73 degrees. And if we look at the charger, it's around 67 degrees. So it's cooling below ambient temperature. And this was only on there for a few seconds. So that's going to take the heat away from the charger. So if you're ever charging with the magnet on an iPhone and you have that message saying it's too hot to charge, this will help with that problem. So I'll leave that on there a little longer and we'll take another reading. Okay, so it's been about a minute. We'll read the inside and it's at 98, 99 degrees. And the surface here is at 46 degrees, and on the back of the phone, it's at about 60 degrees. So that's pretty impressive. So let's head out to the car and see this installed. Okay, so I'm here in my 2016 Subaru Outback, and I have the center vent, and I'll just hook this on the vent. And then I'll tighten this down. Now I need to loosen the nut on the back of this. I need two hands for that. Okay, I have that in position. After I have that attached to the vent, I can plug the charger in down here. It's kind of hard to see. And now we're charging. So I think this is really going to come in handy in the winter time when I have hot air blowing out of here. Now I can shut the vent off, but I always still have a little bit of hot air blowing through. And this will also help in the summertime when you have the hot sun hitting this, because even with the air conditioner blowing out of this vent, the phone gets really hot and it often has to take breaks and stop charging, especially when I'm using things like GPS and audio on here. This is gonna make a big difference in keeping the phone cool. 
So that's the Unitec magnetic wireless charger with cooling. If you have trouble with your phone overheating with magnetic chargers in your car, I think this is a great option. This has the chip cooling and the fan to give you effective cooling, but this is really going to be a game changer on those long road trips where my phone was overheating and I was having trouble keeping it charged. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.